In this demonstration we're going to look at importing virtual machines. So we can import a virtual machine without first exporting it. Only virtual machine data files are needed and there's more than 40 different types of issues detected such as things like missing parent virtual hard disks, virtual switch isn't available, virtual machine has more processors than available. And the import process itself creates a copy of the virtual machine config file, validates the hardware config settings, compiles a list of incompatibilities, displays incompatibilities and asks for new settings. It can also remove the config file copy and cannot start all the saved states and checkpoints. So the first thing we're going to do here is just come into wizard. So all we're going to do here is click on the button that says import virtual machine, brings us into wizard, we'll select our next button. Then what we'll do is we'll browse through to the folder, which in my case is c colon backslash virtual machines backslash lon hyphen export. Now we've done that, we'll select the next button. That is definitely the virtual machine, so we'll select next. Then we'll choose our import type. So we can register the virtual machine in place using the existing unique ID, or we can restore the virtual machine in its entirety using the existing unique ID, or we can just copy the virtual machine and create a new un unique identifier. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to register the virtual machine in place using the existing unique ID. So select our next button. I'm expecting this to fail. So first off, we can see that We've got too many processes associated with this virtual machine. So all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give it one. And as you could see there, I've only got four logical processes available. So maximum number of virtual processes would be four. Then select our next button. What we're going to do here is can't find this ethernet switch non-existing. What we will do is we will connect to our external network. Then select our next button. Read through the summary. Select finish. And it gives us this little error. So long export has failed to realize and it's failed to access the, the disk. And the reason why it's done that is what we've got is we've got this little issue, if we just click on see details here, that we failed to access the system disk, d colon backslash temp, the space operating system here. So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to reassociate the parent virtual hard disk. So we'll just close this down. And what we'll now do is we'll just reassociate that existing disk. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just edit the disk select our next button and we need to locate the disk so what we'll do here just locate the disk we'll just browse through and it's in C colon virtual machines lon export and then we need virtual hard disks and we need our lon hyphen export VHD and click open and we'll select next and what we want to do here is we want to reconnect so we'll just select next again and what we're going to reconnect it with is if I just browse through here it's on C colon program files and then Microsoft Learning into our base and we're going to associate with the base 14A WS12R2.VHD disk. So at this point here all we'll do now is we'll just select open, select next and select finish. So now we've done that we'll now re-import the virtual machine. So back through the wizard so all we'll do here is we'll now just come back to import our virtual machine, select next Locate the folder yet again. So my case is C colon virtual machines lon export. Select our next button. Select the virtual machine. Yep, that is definitely correct. Again, we'll just register the virtual machine in place and select next. Read through the summary again. Select our finish button. And as you can see now, it's now imported that virtual machine. So we'll scroll down a little bit. There's the lon hyphen export. We just edit the settings on that virtual machine and as we can see it's connected to the external network it does have the one virtual processor and it does have its lon hyphen export.vhd file which is a differencing disk and that's the end of this demonstration of importing virtual machines thanks very much